When it comes to modular homes, people love to tell me what they think about them because their perception of what they really are is completely wrong. And usually they spit about five big fat lies out at me. And by the end of the conversation, I have debunked every single one of them. You don't say. So let's just go ahead and just debunk all of these lies. So that way, you, if you're considering a modular home, you've made the right decision for you. But first off, let's just talk about what a modular home is. Because what most people think of a modular home, a lot of cases, they're thinking that it's this when it's really this. Now modular homes can come in various shapes, sizes, configurations, from all the way to modern to traditional styles. When you're talking about manufactured homes and modular homes, both of these types of homes are made in a factory. So that's where people think that they're the same product, but that couldn't be further from the truth. A manufactured home is usually delivered in two sections and they're connected together. Most of it made in the factory and connected on site with those two sections. Now with a modular home, this sections are built in the factory and then they're assembled on the site and you will have a licensed contractor or a licensed home builder put those pieces together. It isn't come together in the two sections like a manufactured home. Like I said, they're both built in the factory, two totally separate products. One of the biggest advantages of buying a modular home is the time that it takes for them to construct it. So when you have ordered your modular home, you can have those sections delivered and it takes nearly like half the time that it would a traditional home build because they don't have to wait for the drywall, the roofing materials to get to the location like you would with a traditional built. With a modular home, it all comes on the same day, all the building materials. And so then all the workers can work in half the time that it normally would take for a traditional built home. Now some newer modular homes are now foldable like these boxable homes. You can have your home actually put together in less than two hours. Now even though this home will come together in sections and all the building materials come in at one time, that doesn't mean the quality of your home is going to be any less than a traditional built home. But most people think it's going to be like the two sections when you see a manufactured home. And they will say, well it's just a couple pieces that they connect together. Now a modular home, who wants that? A modular home is not a manufactured home, so make sure you get that clear if anybody is trying to explain that to you. According to the National Association of Realtors, modular home construction continues to grow year over year, still not taking over the number one spot of site-built homes. Now, a modular home is no different than a site-built home, and in many cases, it not only meets building standards, it actually goes above a lot of building standards in your local area. They're also considered a more green type of building because most of the pieces are made right there at the factory and delivered at one time instead of several trips that it would take for a home to be built with building materials. They also tend to have a better envelope of tightness so you don't have as many drafts as you would with a traditional built home, making it much easier for you to regulate the temperature within your house itself, which of course makes it more green. The insulation in these homes tend to be a lot higher than traditional built homes as well. So again, making your house a better green option if that's what you're looking for. Now, some people will tell you that, well, modular homes are not safe because they're not built like traditional traditional built homes. And as you know, that's not true. Just a fun fact to know, most modular homes can withstand 175 mile an hour winds, which is equivalent to an EF4 wind rating. And that would be equivalent to a category five hurricane. Now all this uh, evidence of the wind rating on these things is anecdotal because we haven't really seen a category five hurricane, but it is something that's pretty exciting when it comes to knowing a little bit more about modular homes. And like I said, they're completely safe. So don't let it, people lie to you about that. Modular homes will have to meet two kinds of inspections. One time in the factory when it's going through a quality assurance and the second time it will have to be inspected by county officials to make sure it meets all specifications. Now that we know that modular homes are built to the same standard if not higher standard than traditional built homes a lot of times you'll hear people say well they don't hold their value they're not the same as a traditional built home. Well, Again, that's not true. In all cases, when it comes to the appraisal of that home, an appraiser will walk through and have no idea that it's a modular home until they start looking at their paperwork and they see that it is indeed a modular home. And then the first words out of their mouth are, I would have never guessed it was a modular home because they have this preconceived idea of what a modular home is. And then once they get through it, they're like, oh, they don't even realize it until they see the paperwork itself. So don't believe the hype when somebody says they don't hold their value because that's hogwash. 
I do want to share with you a modular home company that I've been keeping my eye on. It's called S2A Modular. The company has plans to set up about 35 factories throughout the United States. This looks like a company that has a bright future ahead of them. Now that we're talking about appraisers, the only time that you'll see an appraiser is because you want to have financing. So don't think that you have to have cash to buy a modular home. In some cases you will because if the modular home is under $65,000, you cannot get a home loan on it. That's just the way it is. It sucks. And I wish the US government would do something a lot different for low income people, but that's a different video. But with a modular home, when the appraisers come through, they're appraising it either for an FHA, a VA, an RD, or even a conventional loan. You can use any loan package that you would normally get with any traditional built home. So don't believe the hype about that either. You do not have to have two separate loans for the land and the modular home itself when you're going to purchase one and get financing put on it. Now, if you are going to purchase a brand new modular home and you have a piece of land, you can get a new construction loan. The new construction loan may take a little bit longer because there's going to be some more details that need to be taken care of, especially if you have unprepared land. You may have to do two types of loan packages. You're going to have to discuss that with your loan officer and they will go through all your options ahead of time. So just know that if you're doing this with a brand new modular home. Now, if you live in a modular home now and you were thinking about refinancing, you can refinance your modular home. Don't think that you can't. If anybody's told you you can't, that's a bunch of horse pucky. Now, if you've been watching my channel for some time, you know that I've been talking about the modular home company, Boxable. I was even lucky enough to go visit the factory where they build them. The initial rollout will only have the one type of Boxable, which is the Casita, and they're priced at under $50,000. I'll have a link in the description if you want to know more about Boxable. Now, one lie that kind of is told to a lot of people about modular homes is they're a lot less expensive than buying a traditional built home. In some cases, that can be entirely possible, but in a lot of cases, they're going to cost just as much as it would cost for traditional building. The upside of it, of course, is the amount of time that it would take for your home to be built with a modular home in comparison to a traditional built home. Another thing to know is that because it appraised the same, because it was financed the same, that means it was taxed the same. So you're still going to have to pay the same amount of taxes as your neighbor. You didn't get a special deal because it was modular. Sorry, taxes. It's the only thing you can count on, death and taxes. Oh, here's a good one because people love to say this too. You're gonna have a hard time finding an insurance policy for your modular home. Again, horse pucky. Just for the same reasons I told you earlier, it's no different than a traditional built home. So you can get the same kind of homeowner's policy as you would for a traditional home. Just note that any kind of home that you're buying, if you plan on getting flood insurance, that's gonna be separate from your policy if it's not required in your area. Some flood policies could be as cheap as $500 a year. I'm not selling flood insurance, but if you live in a low line area like I do in Louisiana, it's a great way to have a little extra peace of mind because you never know when you're gonna flood. So here's one thing that you probably heard that might feel like a lie to you, but it's not actually a lie. So even though your piece of property may be zoned residential and a modular home is considered a residential property, that doesn't mean you can build a modular home on that specific piece of property. You're always gonna want to check with the restrictions in your area. You're also gonna wanna check with the permitting office in your area and see if you are allowed to have modular homes in your specific location. That being said, also check to see if there's any HOAs. Some HOAs will allow you to have any type of construction of a home except for modular because they're unsure of what a modular is. Again, they have that preconceived idea that it's the same thing as a manufactured home. In some cases that can be overruled by the association once you show them the plans of your modular home and they see that it does look like a traditional built home. You're just going to have to jump through a few more hoops. Some HOAs are great, some stink. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just letting you know. Now, if you're having a hard time finding any restrictions for a piece of property because you've had it for quite some time, you can always check with a local title office and you also can check with the local county records to see if there's any filed restrictions. Any title attorney will be able to look that up pretty quickly. And in some cases, if you promise them that you're gonna go ahead and close your house with them when you close on your modular home, they'll go ahead and waive any kind of fees that will cost them to uh, find those restrictions for you. Just trying to save you a little bit of money, you know.
I'm good like that. Oh, and one more thing about restrictions too. I almost forgot this. If you see a modular home and the restrictions allow you to put a modular home on there, check to see how many square feet it is. I know that when you look online and you're looking on the old interwebs, when they show you a lot of these tiny modular homes, they will be under 600 square feet. A lot of these areas, I mean like a lot of these areas, will not allow you to have a permanent dwelling that you live in, that you can live in that's under 600 square feet. So go ahead and check that out ahead of time. I just wanted to make you aware of that because I almost forgot. And let me add a buyer beware because there has been a lot of modular home companies that have popped up on the market. And I get lots of emails of people asking me what I think about a specific company. Well, some of them aren't even really making houses yet. They're really just selling people an idea. They're trying to like gather up money. So if you see nothing but computer renderings of this specific modular homes and there's no reviews of the company and the only thing you can find is blog posts and other YouTube videos talking about the idea of the home, that means it's not an actual company. So don't get your heart set on something you see on the internet until you actually know that it's been constructed and put in somebody else's location. Another thing to be aware of too is a lot modular home companies that are wicked cool they're not in the United States. Here's another modular home company. Unfortunately, it's not in the United States, but they do plan on shipping out their foldable cabins within the next year. But we're still not sure how much the shipping costs are going to be. So you may see a price on the internet up for these specific homes, but you're going to have to include the shipping, which can cost a lot, especially if it's international. Now, modular homes are great products, and I know there is going to be some people that will try to spit out some of the lies that I have shared with you. Some real estate agents have told me that it has taken them a little bit longer to resell a listing because of the fact that it was modular. And it's mostly because there's a misconception of what a modular home is. So if you were on the fence and you've been looking around and you had a hard time finding houses, right now because that's it is a thing right now that's hard to find a house and you saw in that listing that it was a modular home go ahead and take a look at that house it's probably built better than the houses you've been looking at anyway so let me know would you consider a modular home now that you know all this let me know in the comments section now if you're unsure if it's a modular home or a manufactured home you're probably going to want to check out the information I have in this video right here my name is Christina Smallhorn your real estate whisperer and I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.